Welcome to Captive of the Week, a series where we catch a glimpse into the secretive world of onshore captives and how they use the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act to shift billions of dollars off of their balance sheets and onto yours. This is your host, Jason Shoup, founder and managing member of the Centers for Better Insurance. This week, our captive is TSI Insurance Inc. As always, we want to get to know our corporate parent. Town Sports International is a gym and fitness company operating under brands such as the New York Sports Club, the Philadelphia Sports Clubs, the Washington Sports Clubs, the Boston Sports Clubs, and Lucille Roberts. The top holding company is publicly traded Town Sports International Holdings, Inc. In turn, it owns Town Sports International, LLC, which then owns TSI Insurance, Inc., our captive. Town Sports formed TSI Insurance as its captive insurance company three weeks after the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act became law. We know that by 2016, TSI took in close to $10 million per year in premium for a range of property and casualty insurance policies sold to its one customer, Town Sports International. Included in those policies is at least $200 million of terrorism insurance. Let's quickly go over the formulas we have become familiar with in this series. Treasury's Terrorism Risk Insurance Program is on the hook for up to $158 million to Town Sports International through TSI Insurance. Small businesses, nonprofits, local governments, and other commercial policyholders are in turn on the hook to Treasury for up to $221 million. Under TRIA's math, TSI's $200 million of terrorism coverage creates a $263 million financial exposure. So it is. We can learn something else from Town Sports International's captive arrangement. Congress is currently considering whether to clone the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act for a program covering pandemics, the so-called Pandemic Risk Insurance Act. TSI's troubles from COVID-19 may help us understand how PREA would work. Town Sports International has hit a really rough patch with the ongoing pandemic. The New York Attorney General has alleged the company's New York gems have refused to suspend monthly membership payments or accept cancellations, while its gems remain closed for some six months under orders of the governor. According to the Attorney General, Town Sports International has continued to bill customers for their memberships, even though it has returned the keys for certain locations and simply walked away, fired most of its staff, so no one is answering the phones to process cancellations or refunds, and told customers cancellation had to take place in person, despite stay-at-home orders. What does this scenario have to do with the proposed Pandemic Risk Insurance Act? Everything. This is what pandemic business interruption can look like. Under PREA, large companies like Town Sports International would be able to design their own pandemic business interruption coverages by using a captive like TSI Insurance. Specialized business interruption coverages negotiated between a captive and its corporate parent could place U.S. Treasury and taxpayer dollars right in the middle of a mess like this. In fact, TSI already provides Town Sports International exotic coverages that respond to losses unavailable to small and medium-sized businesses, such as policies covering sabotage, war risk, and reputation risk. Given a blank check from Congress, why wouldn't a captive insurance company give its corporate parent anything it wants. Just look at the board of TSI Insurance. The board of the insurance company consists of four executives from its policyholder, including the CEO and CFO. In other words, the terms of Treasury's obligations under PREA would be hashed out at a table in which the same corporate bosses sit on both sides does not take a genius to figure out how the U.S. taxpayer would fare in these negotiations. 
On behalf of the Centers for Better Insurance, thank you for spending this time with us today. You can learn more about the Terrorism Risk Insurance Act and Terrorism Captives at www.betterins.org.